<laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Reese, and I'm here back with another video, and I have a special guest, Lakita. And today we're gonna actually be doing a mukbang, and we're just gonna be talking about pros and cons of being an entrepreneur. So let's get into the video. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so. She has a business, you guys. And what's the name of your business? Aesthetic Couture. And right now I'm actually wearing one of her sunglasses as well as her beautiful headband. And she's wearing... I'm wearing the glasses. And I'm also going to be having clothing pieces. So right now I'm wearing a white bodysuit, which I can't <laughs> really see. But you know, I think you're going to put it in the description. Like yes, on Instagram and whatever. So you guys can see it from there. This Friday. Oh, okay. Video, November 20th. Yeah. Okay. Period, <laughs> y'all. The promotion is going yeah. on. Okay. So, y'all, I'm so hungry. I have not eaten, so I had to take the shade off. I'm sorry. And let me get into the food, food for real. So, so she has her business, as she has already mentioned to you guys. And, y'all. I know what it's like to be an entrepreneur, so I want to know what is your take on like being an entrepreneur so far? Like, what do you think is like your biggest pros and your biggest cons of being an entrepreneur? Okay. Um, I'm gonna start with pros. <laughs> um, I would say it built my confidence like a lot. Like seeing when I sell items and like people supporting me, like it's really like. It really builds confidence. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely like building my customer service skills, like how I talk to people. Um, yeah. Cons. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of people might think like when you start a business, it's gonna be like smooth sailing. It's not. Like, it's a lot of obstacles and, like, a lot of stuff is going to test you. And it's not, not everything is going to come easy. So, yeah. <laughs> I agree, y'all, because when I had my first business, well, I still have that business, but I'm promoted. So, I still have a hairline by the name of Tress Lens. And... I still, you know, if my friends or whatever, you know, hit me up and want hair or something like that. Or majority of times when you see my hair done, you guys, those are wigs from my hair company. And I still, you know, wear the hair and everything. But I think my biggest obstacle then was just doing everything by myself. Like, doing the customer service, doing the packaging, like, promoting and everything. And it's, it's very overwhelming, you know. And then, not to mention... I think the biggest con is like when you have supposedly friends that say that, oh, I'm going to support you. Oh, I'm going to do this and that. And then they don't, you know, that really shows you like who's behind you, like who's supporting you for real. Who's not like who's who's there just to like see what you're doing and to be nosy. And then the ones who are really actually supporting, you know, I so, agree because mm -hmm. like before I started like officially launch my business, it's a lot of people that were saying, oh, when are you gonna drop the glasses? I'm gonna buy. Like it's even now, it's still people who said they were gonna buy for me or like tell me, oh, save this for me, never buy it. And it's just like that's why <laughs> I don't really even like when they say that, I'll be like, okay, I don't count on them and I don't mm -hmm. hold your stuff for real. Like if it's sold, it's sold. Because mm -hmm. if you really wanted it, you would have bought it right exactly. there. Exactly. Like, <laughs> come on. Like, why am I waiting on you to do what you say that you was going to do? Like, if you're going to support me, you're going to go out and do it, and then that's that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, I think that that was, like, one of my biggest obstacles. Because I'm the type of person, like, if you say something, I hold you accountable to what you say. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it, I'm looking at you sideways, period. I don't care, like, what how long our friendship was or anything. Because I feel like if our friendship was real, you're supposed to be the first customer. Like, damn, like, I need to... Let me hop on this. Let me start promoting. Like, I shouldn't have to ask you to do those exactly. type of things if you're a real friend, you know? Exactly. Um, even right now, like, you know, I talked about my hair business, but right now I'm an entrepreneur, too. I have my YouTube channel. And there's a lot of people, like, I'm posting my videos, I'm posting my videos, but, like, you know, as a courtesy, as a friend, you can just be like, okay, let me repost one of her videos, or let me, let me tag, or let me just tell people to go watch it. Or if you're in a video, like, hey, I'm going to go just repost this, you know, whatever. I'm in the video, so let me promote, too, you know? Mm -hmm. 
but they don't do that. And to me, it's like, that's kind of like shady and stuff like that, you know? And one of the biggest things that I learned is like, you know, you want to have supporters, but watch your supporters and watch the people who's surveillancing you. So don't get it confused. Like, they act like they're supporters, but no, they're really just watching every single move that you do. And then mm -hmm. that's that. Like, they're not doing nothing else but just lurking. So that's one of the biggest things, too. And that's true. With support, it's not even like, you don't even got to buy like, mm -hmm. a simple repost, like, you don't even have to buy, or, like, YouTube, subscribing to your channel, mm -hmm. following my Instagram page, or doing whatever, like, you don't have to buy, you don't have to spend your money, if you don't got the money, okay, but if I see you, like, always posting my stuff, like, I'm gonna always respect that, because you really supporting me, exactly, like, you're giving me exposure, like, period, like, like girl, yes, so, that's my biggest thing, y'all. So, hopefully, you know, if you decide or whoever decides to do a business, like, don't count on your friends or whatever. Like, still go out and do what you want to do. And if they, you know, want to support you, then that's great, you know. And if they don't support you, don't be mad about it either. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, you can still consider them a friend or whatever the case may be. But in that aspect, as far as your business, don't talk to them about it. Don't, don't, don't even mention it. Just, like, whatever. If they ask questions, whatever, you answer. But... Anything going in detail, oh my gosh, I'm about to launch this next, oh my gosh, I'm about to do that. Hell no, nah, because they probably gonna steal your idea and just go, you know, do your own thing. That's like, another thing I learned, like, don't tell people, like, what you have going on until it's, like, set in stone. Yes. Because it's people out here, like, really preying on your downfall. Yes. Like, haters, like, <laughs> they really be haters. They be so, haters? Yes, they be haters. Okay. They be haters. <laughs> she told you haters okay mm. so mm. um so what else do you think is like a con like have you had any trouble like with shipments or anything like that yes <laughs> vendors shipment it's like having a business is so much to it it's not just selling an item mm -hmm. like first you have to find a reliable vendor mm -hmm. finding a reliable vendor is hard because you like you might get lucky first vendor you buy from okay it's like they everything was smooth but you might not get lucky and the first thing you buy from take forever to ship your items out or the, the um quality of your items are not even the way it was portrayed and mm -hmm. it's like so much into that and mm -hmm. um when you do get your item and you start like shipping out to like customers one thing that's important is branding like people love branding being that a lot of people have businesses now too like the way you're supposed to set out like step i mean not set out <laughs> what's the word brand no stand out okay the way you're supposed to stand out from other people is your brand your branding is like mm -hmm. the colors the um your packaging business cards thank you cards all of that yes 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 so i forgot to bring that i was gonna bring it i forgot but y'all don't worry i think the cards are real cute yes they are ching ching <laughs> period <laughs> Ching -ching. Yeah. Ching -ching. All of that is not just about selling the item, branding, and the branding costs money too because mm -hmm. you gotta buy mm -hmm. the bags. You gotta buy. You gotta buy the um. If you don't have your own design or if you don't know how to make your own design, you gotta pay somebody to make the design for you for the thank you cards and then get it printed out. It's mm -hmm. a lot. It's not easy peasy. You gotta be dedicated because it's yes. a lot. It is. Mm -hmm. I agree with everything she said. To me, like as a as, as a customer, because obviously I'm an entrepreneur too, but I support you guys and stuff like that, and I also make my purchases. And the one thing that I always look for is branding. Like, how how did you catch my attention? Like for example, I'm wearing these lashes now, y'all. Vegas by Bare Moon Lashes. <laughs> make sure you get them. Serious, yes. Okay. Make sure you go holla at her real quick. Like I said, bare moon lashes, and these lashes are Vegas. And one thing that stood out to me the most about her was the simple fact she did the smallest gesture, you guys. So I had purchased an item, I can't remember from who, and she started liking my pictures. And I was like, who is this liking my pictures or whatever? And then she commented on one of my pictures saying how she loved my natural hair and things like that. So it made me interested on seeing, like, who is this person? So when I clicked on her thing, I saw that she had a lash company. And then I started going through her page. So I was like, okay, these are cute and stuff. And then I went on to her website. 
Guys, her website sold me right out the gate. It was completely in sync, like the coloring, how easy, like the function of it, everything just sold me. And I was like, okay, I have to definitely support her. And then when her packaging came, guys, listen, branded to the T, she had thank you, like a handwritten thank you let, um, note. And it was so beautiful. And I was like, you know what? Like that's how you could tell somebody who really loves their business and cares about their business and their presentation of their business because she she went out of her way, you get what I'm saying? And then on top of that, like with that, you also have to put back into your brand. So she's been doing that. You're making your money but putting back into your brand. And you could tell, you know what I'm saying? So it was really nice and, and I loved it. So that's what I look for. And I also look about like customer service and stuff, like how nice yes. you are, you know, and like how, how professional you speak to me. And y'all, I'm not going to lie, okay? I love my people. But there's a lot of people who do not know nothing about customer service. And for me, if you're unable to handle customer service, you need to hire someone yeah. who can handle customer service, period. Because the way you present yourself represents your brand. And if you're being nasty, why would I support your brand? Exactly. Like, that makes no sense. Exactly. Customer service is very important. Very, very, very. Because social media. You talk to somebody wrong in them DMs. They're going to screenshot it, post it, tag, be like, don't go to her. She don't know how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And you just lost, like, so many customers. You mm -hmm. have to talk to people correctly, nicely, mm -hmm. answer in a timely manner. Mm. That's very important. <laughs> very important. She ain't playing, y'all. She is not playing. But a pro that I would say about being an entrepreneur is having your own schedule and like making your own money like for example so guys i'm an entrepreneur in a lot of ways okay and i don't open up about this type of stuff you know i'm very personal and stuff like that but outside of youtube i actually work for myself as well i work as a babysitter so basically i'm a contractor worker or whatever for myself and i make my schedule when I want it, how I want it, I wake up and go to work when I want. And you know what I'm saying? And to me, that is convenient. Like, I I basically um, determine when I want to make money and when I don't want to make money, basically. You know? Um, because I work with kids. And I love it. You know, I'm going into a profession and that has to do with kids. And, like, that's very important to me. And, like, how I present myself to them and how I present to the, myself to their families. And one thing that I like the most is being able to make your own schedule. Guys, waking up when you want to, like, that, that is beautiful. Like, that, that is beautiful. And, like, being able to just go enjoy yourself outside of, you know, working constantly and stuff like that. Now... Ain't nothing wrong with working a nine to five either, because I used to do that too. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like as long as you love what you do, like when you're doing your nine to five, then it all works out. But if you do not love it and you have a bigger dream outside of a nine to five, then definitely go ahead and pursue that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's that's what I like. Yeah. What would you like about it the most? Um what I like about it the most. <laughs> I'll definitely say, like, when I see, when people buy from me, mm -hmm. and, like, I see them wearing my items, and, you know, they tag me and stuff, and they're looking, like, cute or whatever, that's why I often, I post my um, customers, like, very, very often, because it's like, yeah, like, I love seeing y'all look cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I really like. The money too but <laughs> even though i'm not touching like a lot of money because you know i'm always like i always put most i don't take that much for myself mm -hmm. i put it, most of it right back into my business mm -hmm. but definitely the money i love it <laughs> i love it and it's different too because she's doing like more so like fashion and stuff like that so it's like you always want to be up to date with the latest trend and stuff like yes. that so that's why you need to put back into your business a yes. lot, especially when it has to do with fashion. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you have like a fashion business, clothing or accessories, you have to stay on point with what's trending. And then on top of that, like what's trending may not be trending for that long. So mm -hmm. you have to catch it quick mm -hmm. before everybody else start catching it. Mm -hmm. Like you really, for example, the headbands. The headband trend, I want to say it started like in the summer. 
a lot of people, like, at first, not a lot of people had it. That's when I started. A lot, a lot of people was, um, like, other businesses didn't get the headbands yet. But as time went on, everybody started having the headbands. You're seeing the same thing, and it's mm -hmm. like, you, it's time to, like, I had to realize, okay, now it's time for me to find something else, another accessory to, like, put my money into because everybody else already has it and everybody done purchased it. So that's one thing about having a clothing business or accessory business. You have to move with what's trending. Mm -hmm. You have to catch it fast. Real fast. Period. Okay. And that's another thing too, like her mentioning about the headbands and stuff like that because, you know, I purchased my headband from her business, Aesthetic Couture's, and... Before purchasing it from her, I had not seen it at all. But then next thing you know, I started seeing, like, hairstylists um, posting it, like, saying mm -hmm. that, oh, they selling them and stuff like that, with like, along with doing a person's hair. So I was like, okay, like, that's a catchy way to, like, get up on some coins, too. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's like, okay, you already do hair. Like, focus on hair. And let the people who's not doing hair, who's actually selling accessories and stuff, let them make their coins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I guess whatever, you can't be selfish. Everybody trying to make an avenue for themselves and mm -hmm. stuff like that and get this point. So, what you, what you going to do? Mm. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Okay, so is, like, is this business the only business venture that you'll ever do? Or, like, are you looking to, like, explore more? Um, okay. So, when I first started this business, I was really... Planning on just selling glasses, like sunglasses and that stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, like the business when I started the business, it wasn't really a, a permanent thing. It was like more temporary. Mm -hmm. But now I had as time went on and like I'm starting to grow. Like I'm starting to have a passion for my business that mm -hmm. I didn't have in the beginning. So that's why like now I'm trying to um get into clothing mm -hmm. and um like. My main goal one day is to have a storefront. Even though, like, being an entrepreneur was never, like, my goal. But now I feel like it can be a part of my goal. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be a lawyer. So, lawyer and fashion, they don't have nothing to do with each other. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, as... You could, though. You could. You're right. But, like, as a, um... Like, as... You should have multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. So... That's mm -hmm. why, like, now I'm thinking, like, okay, I really could do something with my business. Like, I really can, like, grow and become, like, a business, um, like, having up my own boutique and stuff. So, that's the goal. But, just to add on to her, like, you know, want to be a lawyer in fashion. Yes, you girl, girl, you could be staying on them folks. Girl, in your suit, girl, have your accessories, girl. Boop, 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 boop. You buy your right. DNA, they your clients. You be like, girl, you got that from girl. Mm -hmm. It's my from me. <coughs> Aesthetics Couture. <laughs> period <laughs> okay so i agree like you always want to have like multiple avenues of income but one thing i do want to say because you said that you didn't have a passion for your business at first like sometimes that's okay or whatever you don't have the passion for your business and stuff like that but you also have to be careful because sometimes your passion could overlook your dream of wanting to become a lawyer yeah. you know mm -hmm. um because i feel like well at least now that's happening to me so I've always said that I want to become a PA, which is a physician assistant, if you guys do not know. And I want to specialize in neonatology. But now, like, I love doing YouTube and I love being in front of the camera. And before, I was not like that. Like, I was completely shy, you guys. Like, and I'm very personal and I'm still personal. But, like, you know, as I keep growing and stuff like that, I like to be, like, more open with you guys and, like, you know, tell you guys and just come into my life a little bit more and show you guys what I'm all about and stuff. But... I don't want to, um, you know, have, like, YouTube or whatever overshadow my, my dream of becoming a physician assistant. Like, I feel like you could still do both. But at the end of the day, like, at one point, there is going to be a, a, a time where you feel like, oh, you have to choose one. You know? And I, sometimes I just feel like you don't have to choose one. Like, you can make time for both. Mm -hmm. So, it, it all depends, y'all. It all depends. Surprise to Yep, y'all. The Popeyes is hitting. Okay, the chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Period. It's good. She said she don't like the chicken sandwich, y'all. Can you believe that? It's overrated. I'm chicken. sorry. It's not bad, though. I tried it already. Y'all don't really like it. This is my second time having it. Have you had Chick-fil-A before? I don't like Chick-fil-A. What? I don't. Are you crazy? I'm not. <laughs> I don't like Chick-fil-A, y'all. No! For real, I don't like Chick-fil-A. 
Why? I don't like it. Like, I don't like the way it tastes. What you mean you don't like? That's real chicken. Look, that's real. You, you got to get a chicken sandwich, and you got to get Chick-fil-A sauce. You dip it in there, and you <laughs> see, eat it. You said you dip it good. <laughs> yes. Come on now. Yo, I'm dead. Come on, Listen, man. but I only had Chick-fil-A once, so maybe I need to give it another try. Because mm -hmm. I ain't. And the fries good, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't like their fries. The waffle fries, I ain't like them. Do you have to get the Chick Fil A sauce and you get it inside? <laughs> Y'all clearly, I wasn't eating it right. That's what you, she trying to. She wasn't. Saying. She wasn't eating it right. That's what you telling me. Listen, but I'm gonna try it again, y'all. I'm gonna try the Chick Fil A again. She had to, <laughs> cause clearly it's hitting and I missed it. Yes, I missed the hit when it was supposed to be hit. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But I like the chicken sandwich from Popeyes. It's good. When mm. I had it though, I had it. When everybody like when it first came out, mm -mm, I ain't have it when it first came out. I have it like I'm always late on something, y'all. I ain't have it when it first came out. The chicken sandwich. Mm -mm. Everybody was having it. I think me and my friends had just came from a football game, and then we went. They all got the chicken sandwich, so I was like, okay, let me try. Over high, like it's not even that good. Girl, she probably was wrong. Popeyes, because <laughs> <laughs> that don't make sense. But then again, she, um, you know, sometimes when you they overhype some things or whatever, like the people trying to get the the chicken sandwich out so quick or whatever, mm -hmm. then it start they start like messing up on it or whatever the case is. So she probably just got a bad batch. Maybe, but I tried it once. Maybe I ain't again. tried it again. I already know it. I already know. <laughs> I knew it. But y'all, I'm so hungry. You ate today. No, well, I had cereal earlier, but I ain't all day, y'all. You don't know how that feel. And y'all, I had swimming class. Mm. Yeah. I had swimming class, y'all. Yes. You know how to swim. Period. Because, y'all, okay, I do not know how to swim, but I decided to go to swimming class because I was just like, you know, um... I need to learn how to swim. Like, I'm tired of being from Miami and not knowing how to swim. Like, how the hell are you from Miami and don't know how to swim? Me. <laughs> but to be honest, y'all, the, there's a lot of, the, well, the highest percentage is African Americans not know how to swim. And I was just like, I don't want to be like that. And then also, you know, the guy that I'm with or whatever, he's tired of carrying me. Like, he's tired of me being on his back, <laughs> can't swim and stuff like that. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm about to show up. I'm about to prove you wrong that I could swim. So I started swimming class, y'all, and the video's coming soon. Y'all can see the How did process. it go? It went good, actually. Better than I thought, y'all. I was scared. Okay, y'all? I was terrified. Do they just, like, drop you in the water? No, that's what, you see, that's the typical family move. When they just throw your ass in the water and then think you're going to swim. <laughs> My bad, y'all. And then they think that you're going to swim. No, that's not, no. She didn't do that. She, like, we got in the water, and then she told me to put my face down in the water. Mm -hmm. And I had to hold my breath for, like, five seconds and, like, repeat, repeat. Mm -hmm. She took everything slow, but it was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So when you go to that next week, it's every weekend. Period. Yeah. Oh, y'all, I'm learning. And I'm going to be practicing, too, y'all. Because, you know, you once you do stuff, like, once a week, you still have to, like, practice in be between. Consistent. Yes, so then that way you can really get it down pat. Because I ain't going to be paying all these sessions <laughs> for months upon months. Hell no. Mm -hmm. So we got to practice. Yes. So we can get better. Faster. <laughs> so you yeah. say, um, you seen them videos of them like when they put the little babies and they just put them in the water and make them learn how to swim? Yeah. I don't like that. Why? Why? The but it's natural. Like, they be barely one years old. No, but it's natural though because the baby's like actually swimming in the stomach, like in the amniotic fluid. So it's like they already it's already natural to a baby. Oh, that's, that's why they say to start the baby early because it's already like a natural instinct. I don't like it. Every time I see it, I get a heart attack. I'm like, oh my God. Like and then they roll over. And yeah. Roll over, they be floating. I'm like, yeah, okay. they float by themselves. <laughs> why why I can't float like that? It's been taking me forever. Girl, I just learned how to float today too. I Girl, still can't float. I was mm -hmm. swim y'all was swimming. I was swimming. Y'all I'm gonna post a little clip for y'all. She be swimming, period. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited. Boom. Mm -hmm. mm. Have you ever had uh, um, a near drowning experience? 
Yeah, as a child. No, not as a child. As an adult. So y'all. Y'all know I went to Discovery Cove. Okay? So this happened recently. Girl, no. Mm -mm. So the if y'all haven't seen my birthday vlog, go ahead and make sure you check it out. I went to Discovery Cove. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Make sure you go. But before um I went to Discovery Cove before that vlog. And like maybe like a year or two prior to that, mm -hmm. and I didn't know know how to swim. And at the time, I don't believe I had a life jacket on. So at Discovery Cove, they have like this lazy river thing. But in the lazy river, there's a waterfall that's coming down really, really hard. Mm -hmm. Girl, we got to the waterfall. Girl, the, the waterfall is coming down on us and like pushing us all the way down into the water. Yes. And then what makes it worse is the lifeguard sitting right there looking at y'all. And didn't even help. And I'm panicking, panicking, panicking. Y'all, I'm like a shrimp. I'm only five feet. So imagine being in a damn water that's so deep, you feel like you can't even do nothing. You need to be fired. Girl. And I was so pissed. Like, after that moment, like, I got out the water and I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. Because, mm -mm. But, y'all, I do recommend going to Discovery Coat if you have not been. It's a really a nice experience. It's nice. You should go. She went to Orlando, y'all, and she went to... Where you went to Volcano Bay? Yeah, I went to Volcano Bay. She it was fun. <laughs> like, it was really, really fun. It was worth it. <laughs> but I do want to go to Discovery Cove, though. Definitely want to uh, experience that. Mm -hmm. But Volcano Bay was fun, too. I want to go to Volcano Bay. But, you know, for my man, y'all. You scrap me? <laughs> Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. But anywho, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and finish enjoy our food. I will see you in the next video. A round of applause for my special guest. I, <laughs> I hope you guys love this chit and chat about our pros and cons of being an entrepreneur. And if you decide to be a con entrepreneur. Go ahead and drop your business down below and let me support you. You know, make sure you get your accessories from Aesthetic Couture yes. if you haven't already. <laughs> and your clothing pieces. Period. Because clothing. that's coming soon. Yes. Okay. So that means by the time y'all see this video, the clothing has already dropped. Yes. It will. Period. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm. Oh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Get down. At right. 1804 Princess with three S's. And follow my <laughs> business page at aesthetic.couture with a K. Yeah. And her information will be down below. Yes. Okay? Peace. Bye, guys.